All right, I'm back in. The mic seems to be working. Let's see if it's working in here. To be working. Let's see if it's working in. Perfection. Welcome back to the Shady Harbor with me, Little Fox. Got some plans today. Let's see if we're gonna follow them today. Um, quickly gonna double check and do all my shears nizzle. Whew. All right. Ah, gonna be a hell of a week. Where are you, my spreadsheet? My beautiful, beautiful spreadsheet. Yes. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are awesome. Alright. Where are we at with blacksmithing? Level 31. Oops. Deconstruct time. Level 32. Nice! So I've learned how to use um, the guild traders. I didn't understand how they worked the longest time. You actually have to search for items for them to work. Which is weird. I don't know why they don't just show everything on the screen when you load into it. But whatever. Game. Whatever. <sighs> if you decide to do that differently than all of the other UI in the game. Because that's definitely not incredibly confusing for someone like me to have to deal with. <clears throat> it's interesting how expensive um, items like Perfect Row are, though. <sighs> yep, nothing else I can do in here. Alright. I've also changed my armor on Polymord, which now looks pretty fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm... Pretty pleased. Pleased to see you in solitude, stranger. Hmm. I bet I can bang the dents for my armor while we're in town. Nice. I wonder why this mod. Uh, I just installed a new mod as well that will automatically do the like recharge using soul gems and armor stuff is like it's so annoying to have to do that every time especially the armor there's like no real like you have to find the exact armor piece and there's no like visual cue to find the one that's broken unless you like mouse over each one it's just not quite that optimized in my personal opinion Um, in any case, though, mm -mm. I'm not sure about this new bra, or what I was just about to do. Ooh, crafting time! Yay! Double the yield, mount speed, war mount. Harvest speed would be pretty good. <sighs> Potions. Mount speed. I'm gonna speed my character up, make her all speedy. Oh, whoops, hold on.
Golden treasure. Gold gained. Way shrine. <clears throat> These two would be cool to have. Yeah, let's get that speed. Warfare! Full. Yay! Now. Is everything? Permit? Points. No, I didn't. What? Oh, I thought I wanted to change it. All right. All right. Blacksmithing. I need another point for that. Clothing. I'm good. Jewelry. I'm level 5 now. Blacksmithing, I'm on 32. Enchanting, I'm on 11, jewelry 5, and woodworking is level 34. So, blacksmithing, I need 4 and I need one of those. Enchanting, 3, don't need to worry about that until later. Jewelry crafting. Woodworking is cool, so I just need one more skill point. What other skill points can I get in this area? Ah, story quests. And also Labyrinthian. I thought I did Labyrinthian. There's a quest still to do? What? What is this? What quest? Whee! <sighs> Sorry, the I also need this to unlock the Sigic Order skill line. And the rest of the companions. Because I swear I, like... Because I was grinding in there. Gosh, I kill things so fast with this character, it's awesome. Another find for your pack. Also, my armor has changed. I've got um, 
I've got all. I've got the venomous um, set now. I've got venomous amulet and rings and a venomous uh, great sword. So basically, every time I do a critical damage, um, it inflicts like a poison effect on groups. And I actually have a decent like sword now, which seems to be like really doing well. Oh, when the restoration stuff. Nice. Hey, Bella. My blade is yours. Of course. What did you want to discuss? The daydream. Ready to write? Oh, dang it! Wrong thing. No. Service, of no. I'm in your companion menu. Ooh, what's this one? Quickened, quickened, quickened. These are both exactly the same. Okay. Um. Okay. Wait, how are you up there? How do I get up there? Yeah, I'm starting to work on armor sets for all my all my um, characters. This I'm making a poison a poison area of effect uh, character here. Basically, the more chances I have to inflict critical damage, the better like chance I have of um, creating like a poison buff. Uh, potatoes. Just potatoes. <clears throat> I don't think that gives me a, uh... Skill point, though. I've done everything except for the quests now. Now I just need to go to the view pairs. And then I'll have this uh, this entire area complete. That's awesome. I need to start doing veteran um, things as well. Because um, let's we'll see. Yeah, Order's Wrath is pretty cool. Because it gives it increases my crit my critical damage anyway, but I need a shit ton of um, ribidite to in order to make a full set. So it uses like hundreds each for each um, set. Mm, each um, one like it takes like three hundred. Oh, was one hundred and thirty? I think one hundred and thirty for each um, item of uh, armor. Which, no, I'm not going to attack the Fennec Fox. Fennec Foxes are my friends. No attacking, no attacking foxes. On purpose. Accidentally, it's okay. Around here, let's take a look. 
Here, ye card sharps and collectors. Oh, I need to do that quest as well. I guess. Tales of tribute. <sighs> Hold up there, young blood. Are you an individual with a love of tinkering or a Oh, there's a quest as well. There's a quest as well that I need to do for shit. Uh Wait a second. There's a quest that I need to do. Lost along the shore. Lost along the shore. Which one's which though? Lost along the shore. Just because I like to complete things. They're daily quests, basically. It's hit Ava. Which one's hit Ava? This one. Our militias. Only if you're interested in nightmares. That's a. Ah. Alright. Well, it's not this this one. That's the Assassins tried to kill the high king. They murdered Queen Gerhild. across the realm to search for nightmares you dredged up from a bottle? It's not. Or should I say, the whispers of eastern vipers tickling your ears? But mother... Enough! Then next you come before me to vomit up your counsel. Make sure it's a dick of treason. Svana, you alright? Your mom is dead, but I can kill something for you. What do you need killed? I'm good at that. Alright, now I can talk to you. Damn them, man. We should visit Jarl. We need to go to the Jarls. Goodbye. Go to Morthal. Wait, isn't... Oh yeah, Morthal is, is in um, this area, in Western Skyrim. <clears throat> Pardon me. It says to go to Morthal, okay. But then I'm going to Morthal. Talk to the Arl. Also, we're purging the... Feasting in the dark. I'm so confused. <clears throat> oh. Damn it! Why is it? Oh, okay. That's not what I need to do. Hold on. Um. Yeah, I can do that afterwards. <sighs> <clears throat> Pardon me. 
Lucky Mog passed along your message. I would have hated to miss. Why does the Princess of Solitude grace my humble hall with her royal presence? Are you here on behalf of the High King? I've come to warn you, Jarl Redhorn. Warn me? I already received orders from your father. What more is there to say? Orders? Uh, right. But you need to prepare the hall's defenses. And what must we defend ourselves against this time? More urns and fetish- Vampires! Please, Jarl Redhorn, let my friend explain. The threat to our holds is worse than- You're the me. one my wife We're not dead. The High King, the Barbarian. They were told. She's a- Okay, North Old Barrow. Oh, hey, Lyris. What's up? Ah, down here. See that mound? That's the barrel. The entrance will be down below. You, sir! We never You're meet rich men. Let's happened talk here? if you want details. Ah, it's haunted. Awesome. Oh, hello. There we go. Getting that poison. Send our see you safely to your rest. Give me some hard scraps. I mean, they're already dead, though. Oh, wait, the Harry things. No, they're, they're sort of in between, I think. Let's get that warlord. That's done. Let's tell the Yarl what happened to you. Too easy. <sighs> I need to start scrying again with my characters. So much to do in this game. It's actually kind of cool. It's gonna be a long time. Like, I don't think I'll ever actually finish everything in this game. 
never have to enter another barrel, it will be too soon. No sign. Is Lyris seeing someone that you know of? You know what? Don't oh, answer nice. that. Forget what did I you asked. find? Where were, where, where were we going next? I knew it. She's lesbian. Fuck yes. Oh, bye. Who knows? Either way, she's gay. And then Molly grew up all over the sword thane's boots. <laughs> well, friend. Jarl Redhorn, prepare your forces as we say. We need them. Go back to solitude, apparently. Before that, though, I'm going to do the feeding grounds if I can. <sighs> oh, what? Is that a dungeon? Ah, oh, I think that's a dungeon, not a uh, delve or anything. Oh. Still going on Twitch? Yeah, fair enough. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna enjoy shame! How's it going? Soup, how are you? Welcome back. Looking forward to seeing what you make of that. I just realized that my follower is gay, which is awesome. I wonder if there's like any There are none left to stand against us. Let's go. I'm doing the um, quests, last few quests that I've got in this area. Um, oh, I gotta use an anointed spirit. Oh, I see, that's what this is. I remember. I wonder if I can do this world boss. Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, I need to purge it. Alright, time to purge. Let's do it. Okay. Well, they killed me faster than I could actually heal because for some fucking reason I can't actually, like, use my ultimate fast enough. Which is fucking annoying. Why does it do that? I want to do this. I want to do this. Well, okay. So the reason why I'm thinking about getting Fortnite, right? Oh my gosh, that thing looks nasty. Yeah, no. Nah. That ain't happening. Wishran! Entry map. General. Feasting in the dark is abandoned. It's only a daily anyway. And uh, the only daily I actually want to do is, um, <sighs> up there. But yeah, um, my, my nephew is, like, getting, is, like, super enthused about, um, playing, yeah, it's a dungeon. I haven't done it. I need to do that dungeon. Um, he's getting enthused about, um, 
um, playing Fortnite, and I kind of want to go into it and actually see how bad the uh, monetization is, and I basically want to do the parent thing and learn so I can tell my brother about what it's all about. Yeah, pretty much. I'm thinking of going with the title Anti-Capitalist Plays Fortnite. Re reacts to Fortnite gameplay. Something like that. And then delete it forever. And I'm just like... The way you buy... Like... Elder Scrolls Online? The game I'm playing right now has a, has, has, does have a uh, predatory... Must be in the game. Uh, a predatory monetization scheme in that it has uh, premium currency um, and there are like pay to win sort of like stuff. Well, I mean, not really, but like experience boosts and that sort of stuff, like research boosts and all of, you know, like that you can pay for. Um, but you don't need any, you don't need to pay any money to like get really cool gear. It's like. Stick together. We'll take care of this. But, like, um, Fortnite claims not to be pay-to-win, so I want to, like, because I think my nephew's a little bit young to understand the difference between cosmetics, cosmetic items and, like, you know, um, like, items that make you better at gameplay. So, functional ones, yeah. But you told me. Let's hurry. Every second we waste could be the difference between life or death. Cosmetic versus functional, yeah. Because basically everything that you can buy in this game is cosmetic, apart from the experience boost and the, uh, haha, <laughs> yeah. Um, just telling a shame about that. Um, I'm. No matter. This time we'll harvest all of the grey reliquaries. But come on. Yeah. Is she the one and the thing is, like, it's, my brother is, isn't, my brother doesn't play as many video games as I do, and I still don't know how the monetization works, so any questions that my brother has, or, um, that my nephew has, um, like, I can't answer them as well, so I just really want to learn about how, but I just want to make, I would just, basically my, my aim is to figure out a way to make it a learning experience, because, like, the worst thing you can do, I, in my opinion, as a parent, when your kids, like, really, really, really want to play a game, is just to, like, say, no, you're not allowed, um, because, what does that do? That doesn't teach your kid anything? China! Like get that, the, the, so it's better to figure out a way to actually making it, make it a learning experience. Although I am leaning to the idea. So one of the things that I think would be important was um, would be rather it would be to like not allow. Um, not allow him to ever buy any in-game in -game, um, currency. I think that would be important. Um, because he's so young right now, and if it is true that you can earn everything in Fortnite through gameplay, then really that's the thing that you really need to impress upon them, like, because think about it from a capitalistic perspective, you're basically teaching your kid the same thing that like, Nepo babies learn. You know? The idea that you can just buy, you can just use money to get what you want rather than working hard for it. 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm still, like, uh, coming to my conclusions. Like, even what I said just then, I usually have issues with, so. Oh, there, there you are. That's your fan, I must leave you. No, no, like, I, I don't know, I'm like, I'm brainstorming. That's what I do. I, I, I talk about things out loud to people in order to learn. That's, that's part of the reason why I do this. And why I can just keep talking, because that's half of how I learn how to do stuff is through, like, you know, talking to people about it. I don't know, but you're not going to like this. Looking forward to seeing what you make with that. It's annoying because like I'm so good at killing like random enemies, but in that in that like those those freaking Harrow dudes like just murdered me. <coughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no wait, they're alright. Y'all good. <clears throat> they're just having a rave. Oh, me. I just killed you. I just stopped you. That's done. Now let's check on the yard. Her hall is right up the hill. Yeah. Yeah, I started watching um um uh I started watching Hassan. Um so Hassan's reaction I think to the um clip to one of the clips and like uh, I I I realized that it was like bringing up uh, previous trauma and like emotion and stuff I'm like oh I should do this on stream for the entertainment factor yes <clears throat> so I stopped it and then like decided that I'd do it on stream instead if it cuz you know let's all let's all let's all monetize my trauma shall we and the trauma of other women let's do it Nah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Might as well make some money from it. Well, not money, but, you know. Uh, clout. It's entertaining. I wouldn't recommend anyone else do it, but, like, meh. Stay back. Don't make me. Oh, hi. Anyway, that's how I deal with trauma, anyway. I do immersion. I, I basically do immersion therapy for everything. But, um, again, I don't recommend doing that unless you have, um, a good support network. Don't do what I do. Oh, she did. <coughs> oh, yeah. I love my new armor. My new armor is awesome. I've got, basically, I've got two sets, well, three sets, kind of, but, like, it's not complete. I've got the Venomous set, which adds critical chance and also, um, gives, uh, uh inflicts Hunter's Venom, which, like, kill, hurts them and everything around them for, like, eight, for ten seconds. Um, and then I've got the Order's Wrath, which just basically increases critical chance more, um, and critical, uh, damage and critical healing. And then I got, um, I basically found two, like, a, another set. I need to replace this set here with, um, a monster set. Because you got main sets where you have five pieces per set. And then you've got monster sets, which is two pieces per set. So I need, I, I'm gonna find another thing that uh, increases my damage. It's gonna be sweet! <coughs> But it means that I need to grind and do veteran uh, challenges. So I'm going to have to start learning how to do that shit. So, woo! Let's do that. Oh. Don't want me. Here's a fuck.
We got close and comfortable to MRA QA. Yeah, um, huge, major trigger warning for the topics we're going to be discussing today. Um, the, the vice thing is no fucking joke. It's no joke. <sighs> also, I believe that, um, Wait, there's one. What? I thought it was. I thought it was done. Has had a ma madam. Where is it? What? Oh, okay. These. Oh, she's back. Oh gosh, I have to kill her again. Oh well. Apparently, um, apparently, uh, Vosh has been, um, t t trying to teach people about consent. After his stuff. Like, I'm sorry, Vidalia. Vosh wait. did exactly the same thing that Andrew Callahan did. Just online. Exactly the same fucking me? thing. I failed her. Even worse, though, Vosh, um, basically never apologized, doubled down, and then, like, continued to... Yes. 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 100%. The girls he did it to are just lucky that they never met him in real life. Yeah, Vosh just did the pathetic neckbeard version and then gaslit, um, everyone into, like, thinking that that was... That the people that they abused were, um, um, or sexually harassed, whatever, uh, were, um, uh, crazy. Like, that's what he does. He just says that they're, uh, schizophrenic, and then, like, um, tells his, and then literally tells his, uh, fans to, uh, harass them and make fun of them. Literally. Like, quote, just make fun of them when appropriate. Quote, Avosh. Like, uh, 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 yeah, I, I have big issues with Vosh. Like, he's a piece of shit. And the only the only way that uh, I would talk to him in private is if he fucking sent me money. That would be literally like, you would have to pay me, to, he would have to pay me to talk to him in private. I just want to get get one. Yeah, um, he's everything I, everything that's wrong with the uh, debate, the debate bro, the debate bro Fox, and one of the reasons why I started streaming. Magister Fridelia, as the highest rank. <clears throat> I mean, like, no, I, no, like, I'm gonna shit, I'll shit on, um, a shame, I'll shit on Vorsch all day and all night, but I'm not gonna shit on anyone who still watches their content and just, as long as they're not trying to defend his indefendable bullshit. You know, like, you can enjoy content. Like I said to my brother last night, like, my brother's concerned about Fortnite, but every single video game that my nephews play has the result of, um, crunch. Nintendo uses crunch worse than Western... Like, if you want to look at, if you want to, if you have a problem with crunch, have a look at how, um, um, how shit works in Japan. Um, abusive workplace practices. So, like, there is no video game that you can play which is not a result of abusive envir environments. Like, you know, like, I used to love and play, um, a lot of, uh, Blizzard games. But the entire time I was playing Blizzard games, that shit... Where, where, you know, breast milk was being stolen, women were being, um, sexually abused, like, this, yeah. Like, 
there is no streamer that you can watch which is going to be the result of like which is not going to have skeletons in their closets at all like we live in under capitalism yeah crunch is just fucking disgusting on spotify i'm not even on spotify anymore i just because i've because i'm piggybacking off of um a friend's um youtube red uh family subscription um i just use youtube music because like i i like having things in i i don't like having more so like heaps of mats is it youtube red i don't know i don't know it's the it's the it's the one where you don't get ads they've been taking them to the temple of the divines in castle dower i suppose it's really Neris is so intimidating. How can you stay so calm around someone so powerful? <laughs> Isabel is totally simping off of, of, of Lyris. <clears throat> what do you want? <sighs> Lol. But yeah. Just like the one thing that you could that that you can do as a fan of a streamer, you can enjoy watching whatever streamer you like. Just don't fucking defend the indefensible, right? You know, if like something came out and I and I like I don't know something I'd done something fucked up, like I would be more pissed off at people trying to defend the fucked up thing that uh, I might have done then you know anything else more patience for podcasts yeah I mean I used to it depends like it's harder to do it when I'm doing driving come back to the troll and let the royalty deal with this I am the royalty mug it's time I started acting like it how about you like Jump in a guillotine and <laughs> put, turn control back over to the people. No, <coughs> but we saved more <coughs> and stopped the coven from getting the gray reliquaries at Carthwell. Oh, it's eternal vigor. And we brought the hold leaders here. All of that matters. Take this. Oh, nice. I need one of these. I need one of these. I what? Buy wine, but you can make better use of it. Wait, which which character was I doing Eternal Vigor with? We returned to find that my father is finally doing something about <laughs> Right. I don't care. <coughs> hmm. I might just uh uh, the lock for selling it, the thing. Mark for selling. Can I not do... At guild store? Can I not sell this at the guild store? Oh. <coughs> Sportify. Hmm. Ah, oh, I keep like where, where are the locations for this shit? What what am I ah oh, there it is. Okay. Dusk. I think there must have been another bushfire. I'm all plugged up. Mm. 
Okay. I just want another skill point, damn it. The Vampire Scholar. Ooh, 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 ooh. I complete this quest and I get a skill point. Yeah, good. Oh, nice. What did you find? Bast and raw ancestor silk. Nice. <clears throat> Ooh, mud crab. Give me Rubido hide scraps. Dang it. And give me what I want. Rude. All this time, the overseer was working with a vampire. I knew there was something unpleasant about him. Mm -hmm. All those people disappeared, and the overseer was behind it all along. Oh, lucky. That's Stendhal terrible. must be watching. Ah, whoops. I didn't want to steal shit. As well, we're teaching the kid the ways. Uh, and the internet, some parents get defensive rather do that themselves. You ran into this before, yeah. That's why I don't believe in the. You know, I don't believe in fuck. The fuck are you doing? Um, the whole parents' rights movement bullshit. Should be community-based uh, parenting. Everyone should have a fucking say over how you take care of your kids. Like, what if you're a fucking abusive piece of shit? You in here? <coughs> exactly, it takes ben a fucking village. A messy person. Could there have been a struggle here? Listen to the people who fucking know what they're talking about. I, like, I was talking I, I, I was talking to someone the other day, right? Like, they were talking about, um, like, teaching their kids about stranger danger. I mean, just like, I mean, that's like, ancient fucking shit. You know what I mean? Like, Stranger Danger was, um, a complete- it was just complete bullshit. It actually increased, like, the amount of, uh, it actually increased the amount of, um, uh, children that were being hurt, harmed. Because Stranger Danger was a fucking myth. You're much more the children are much more likely to be hurt by family members and people close to them. You know, like sh like they were talking about um, how like schools don't teach strange danger and stuff, and how she how that was making her all worried and stuff. And I tried to explain to her that like stranger danger is just not what you should be teaching your kids. Lit quite literally, your kids are safer today, playing out in the street, than they ever have been. Yeah, it's, 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 like, I mean, it was a huge thing in the 90s, especially, but, um, wait, what? Is there more? Oh, there is more. It was a huge thing in the 90s, but, uh, they found that it didn't, uh, work because all it did was push children into, uh, worse, uh, wor possibly worse situations. When you're teaching people that, uh, to be suspicious of strangers, how do you think they grow up to treat people? How does that socialize your child? What are you teaching your child if you're teaching them to be afraid of strangers? 
and not teaching them how to say no, how to identify danger in people who aren't strangers. Like schools these days, because like my mum's my mum's a principal, a school principal. She's been like she has been a teacher for my entire life. You know, she's got over thirty years of experience. This woman, right? Thirty three, over thirty three years of experience in schooling that my mum has. And yeah, like <clears throat> they don't t they teach they're teaching kids how to identify dangerous people. Even if they're in, even if they're um, in family members, and how to identify trustworthy people to report problems. Don't teach your kids to be afraid of strangers. You're teaching your child so nationalism. How can you stay so You're teaching so your child to be afraid of the unknown. You're teaching your child conservatism. You're teaching your child that there is no one out there who can protect you other than you. You're teaching your child that even if you are the worst person in their life, that they should still come to you before, you know, another safe person. Exactly. And it's also basically, ba it's basically making it worse for children who are in, who have abusive parents. Because it's teaching kids that it's basically pushing kids into that abusive, like highly controlling atmosphere of these abu abusive parents. The cycle of it, it's continuing a cycle of abuse. Like stranger danger accentuates that cycle of abuse. We we know this. People are people are less violent than they ever have been before because of environmental reasons. Although, you know, that's going to change in the next, um, maybe not this generation, but the next generation, we're going to see a lot more serial killers, seeing a lot more uh, violence, uh, because the, 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 we basically have a ticking time bomb in our soil, which is lead. Um, the lead levels in our soils getting to the point where we're going to start seeing the higher raised levels of uh, lead um, in, our in our children's diets and their children's children's diets. Um, to create basically the same the same uh, environment that we had in the 70s and 80s. That's the big cavern to the east. You need that key to unlock. Hey, how's it for life? How are you? I'll meet you south of the world. Digging, tunneling, I have no idea what that guy just said, but can I have my can I have my skill point now? Skill point, please. Where am I going? What's happening? Where's my... Where's my skill point? Over here? Um... I guess I have to run this way. I just want to freaking get my skill point and go! You noted this, what is it? Racists. The fuck? What is that? Oh yeah, I know him. Wake the beast. What is this? Racists are welcome. Alright, well, before we move into that content, um, I might do a quick break. Um, uh, when we get back, uh, I have a short, I have a short, um, um, a short uh, notice. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, public service announcement after the break. So don't go anywhere, or do. Either way, though, I will be right back afterwards. <clears throat> uh, 
and I'm back! Welcome back to the Shady Harbor. A, a quick PSA. So recently, I made a dumb little song and video about uh, horses. I sang a little song about horses. And while it's not every comment Cute little song. means, I'll say that a good 40-50% um, of the comments on that video are, are people mentioning Vosh and talking about Vosh and saying I'm making content for Vosh. And I'm led to believe this is because um, I guess Vosh likes horse dick or is attracted to horses ironically like it's a like it's a fun community joke that Vosh um <laughs> likes to have sex with a horse or wants a horse in his life I don't know I'm, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a familiar I'm not I'm not familiar with Vosh's community enough well let me familiar familiarize you um Vosh thinks that um that um consent doesn't matter for animals um and that bestiality should be uh, legal. To know the ins and outs of the horse thing. You know, I don't know the whole story, but I'm just trying to make an appeal to you here. Um, you know, just let me talk about horses. You know what I mean? Don't, just let me experience the, the world around me and enjoy the concept of a horse. You know, I'm not, I'm not making no, no. This horse is the PSA. content. I'm not talking about horse cock. Just sort of leave me be with, uh, with the sort of <clears throat> Vosh horse stuff. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Just leave, leave, me, leave me out of the horse cock community. Yep. Okay, so leave, 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 leave little Joel, big Joel, whatever you want to call him, out of the, out of the horse dick shit. What do you reckon? I think that's. I think that that is a very fair thing to ask. Also, I think it's hilarious how just a little video about with with seven pictures of horses and an old man, um, people made it about Vosh again. Again. But yeah, definitely gonna stick Vosh in my title now. Um, when I upload this video, because that, that means that I get, uh, like, 70 extra views than I, like, usually get, so, <clears throat> lol, I love how this shit works, alright, 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 let's just jump straight into it, like, uh, racists are welcome, apparently, <sighs> yeah, this is, this is awesome, like, her, I love her deep dives, we should go through my subs- my subscriptions. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 wait, hold on. Ah! Go back! Go back! Okay. Hold on. Where is it gonna show me? Alright, alright, shows me on the side here. Alright, so I've got aim and animations. Obviously, obviously, I mean, animations like is is awesome. For I, I'm looking forward to his take on his um his his uh, next video starring Andrew Callahan. I don't know if he's gonna do that. That'd be cool. I can't remember who Aiden is. Who's this? Oh, they made made some stuff. I don't remember, didn't remember subscribing to them. Andrewism. Andrewism is great. Um, he's an anarchist, um, uh, a black content creator. Um, I, gosh, I, I, he, he comes from, I, I don't, I think he, might, he may be from Hi, 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 Haiti, maybe? I can't remember, I can't, can't remember. <laughs> but he's like that, sort of like the Caribbean area. But yeah, um, talks about solar punk. Anti-capitalism being a capitalist now, you know, in the way that um, things run with um, Hassan. But again, that's sort of, sort of like a very enclosed bubble of, um, you know, entertainment. Black anarchism, um, degrowth, rethinking family. Like, <clears throat> there are so many videos I still need to watch of theirs. Like, you can see, like, I haven't that's watched... So Ah, I've worked in why? I'm not trying. I'm trying to like. Oh, these are the popular videos. But yeah, anti-work, all of that sort of stuff. Andrewism is fantastic. 
hundred percent recommend. Um, Aries is the music that that's the music that I that I use um in the uh, back soon. Like so, that's um the the copyright free um music that I use sometimes. Uh, Arcane is uh, is another transgender streamer, but I haven't seen her create any. Um, I haven't seen her online for a while, so I hope that she's doing well. Um, one hundred and sixty-one. Yeah, I have. I have a few. Audit the audit. That's just so I can get some funny cop videos doing cop, cop stupid cop stuff. Um, Auntie Donna is an Australian uh, com comedian, uh, comedic group. Bad Empanada, Bad Empanada 2, obviously that speaks for itself. Mm hmm. Balloon Shop, that's the, that, it, you definitely subscribe to Balloon Shop. I gotta be in the mood to watch the videos, I guess. It's like, uh, he, I put him on the same level as the majority of report. Um,. Sometimes I just don't have the adult concentration skills to keep up. You know what I mean? He does good content. Um. Hmm. Um. Valjo is a. Um. Like, does, like, city building, um, let's plays and stuff. Um, really useful if you're wanting to learn how to play games. Such as, um, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Sort of that sort of stuff. I think he does City Skylines as well, but yeah. Really, really good, um, tutorials for that. Oh, I don't think Bo's so bad at all. I think he's great. I just I, I just don't have uh, concentration skills sometimes. A lot of it is very American cent American centric, um, like you know talking about the Senate and like specific um, se like politicians and stuff like that, which I find difficult to pass sometimes. A twinge of cringe. Yep. Big Joel, Kalen Conrad, if you're not subscribed, I, I don't know why, uh, Kalen Conrad, I think, has made some of my favourite video essays, like, especially if you're wanting to learn about TERFs and the TERF cult, um, like, their video uh, about that goes into, like, what I was talking about the other day, about um, uh, black people's issues being... It being pushed aside for white women like they go into that depth of um analysis it just amazing subscribe subscribe i think that i think that's the only patreon subscription i have um currently because it's just amazing i don't know who Ca i don't remember who cash burner is i don't know who's that would it i don't know it looks like someone who debates people, maybe? I don't know. Shay Gaming, again, not sure who that is. Some people I subscribe to, because... Ooh. Ooh. I think that's a friend that I subscribe to, or someone else that I subscribe to, because I really liked their stuff. Uh, chat, chat, channel... F oh, yeah, I'm still subscribed to channel 5. Ooh, yeah. Let's just, uh, fix that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, let's fix that. Chill Goblin, another van fantastic, um, um, creator, did it, has, Chill Goblin, Goblin did a really good video on, um, the CIA and how fucking stupid they are, and how, um, brainwashing is absolute pseudoscience as well, basically talking about, M doing a deep dive into MK Ultra and what that actually was. Uh, Christopher Bader, I'm not sure. CJ the X, just, their energy is just amazing, and I love them. Coffee Stain Studios is probably my favourite dev team at the moment, I think. Um, Comrade Ferret, based as fuck. 
Um, subscribe to Comrade Ferret if you haven't already. ContraPoints, people are mixed on ContraPoints and I don't know why. Can can someone, like, someone needs to explain to me um, without, with receipts. Someone needs to t bring me the receipts on why ContraPoints is bad because I haven't seen them. I, I'm sorry. Dan Drambles, oh my gosh, Dan Drambles has done several, for several years now, has done, um, like, Wholesome Halloween, basically, every day of October, they did a, um, like a, a video essay on a different horror movie, like, honestly, amazing, amazing content, um, Christopher Beta. Yeah, no idea. Um, D'Angelo Wallace is pretty cool. Haven't, like, have they been shadow banned or something, or are they just not made... Oh, they haven't... Oh, that's right, they don't make uh, regular videos on this channel. I think they do more streaming now. Um, Denny Zerner, Bria, Denverini... I mean, there are so many. There are so many. I'm not going to go through them all today. Who's this? I think that's a friend. But anyway, let's quickly run through this. Thinking about this title should be racist. Welcome. You're talking about the 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 stream title. Well, believe it or not, sneaking by, racists are welcome here. Right. I mean, I'm not going to tell someone to leave simply because they harbor racist ideology. If I were to do that, this would become an echo chamber. Right. I think it takes patience and it takes diligence. To no, it's not what echo chambers are. That's uh, that's not that's misunderstanding what happens. Okay, this is what we know about communities, right? When you allow toxic elements to thrive in your community, your community becomes um, it, it stops growth in that community for one because people don't people fucking hate it, and it just it basically. People leave until it's just the Nazis that are left saying Nazi shit. Just look at the evolution of Destiny's uh, Discord or uh, Vorsha's um, community over time. Um, tolerance of intolerance breeds intolerance. If you're going to be tolerant of intolerant people, then don't Pikachu face when your community turns out to be like shit in the long term. Because it will end up that way. Sorry, not sorry. That's just how things work. Listen to someone who disagrees with you. There's so much taboo surrounding racism. I'm sorry. But listening to someone who disagrees about the fact that you deserve human rights? Um... What? This isn't a dis... Like... I, this is just the most brain dead bullshit at the end of the day. When, when you look at it, right? Like people like this just talk about how um, you need to you need to be like kind to Nazis. Fucking hell! Unless this guy maybe is doing doing a bit. Hopefully he's doing a bit or something. Racism and what we perceive to be racist. That at the very first sight of. Perceive to be racist? Something You're doing a bit. He's doing a bit. We tend to say it's evil. That's not what I intend to do. What I hope to do with this place is give people an opportunity to learn things that maybe they don't know about. And to me, that requires a diversity of opinions. And including the... Why? Unpopular ones. So as long as a person doesn't descend into racist abuse... Yeah. Is he doing, is he doing that right now? He's kind of doing that right now, isn't he? He's kind of like putting on the what's that movie? Um, sorry to bother you. He's doing the sorry to bother you right now. Do you know what I mean? Ah, uh, not my place to really question that, really. But like, it's weird. It's weird. I, I'm still convinced he's doing a bit. Um, this is just this is just this is just too like centrist lib lib shit. Like, has the idea that they're learning and that they're trying to contribute. I don't really mind if you're racist and you come here. There's a place for you here, right? You can be racist and come here. Sure. Take a seat on the couch. <laughs> Put your feet up. <laughs> I don't care. Um, 
that could be beneficial to us. How many of you have ever met a racist? I think probably I'm in denial. That's what it is. I mean, you, you probably do know some racists, but they're not going to be racist to your face. They're probably going to be racist when you're not looking. But That's quite the hall there. as a white person, I know a lot of racists. And no, they're not racist to your face. It's like... Like, I, 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 do you know what's really interesting? How quickly I stopped hearing transphobic jokes after I, uh, became, after I, uh, came out as transgender. Uh, that should, that should probably put it into perspective a bit better. From my own experiences. I mean, like, uh, th there's, th this idea that it's a marketplace of ideas is the most lib-brained bullshit ever. Like, I'm sorry, you have brought in a dog shit to my restaurant and are trying to sell it to my customers here. The Sir, this is a Wendy's. Like, there is a place. There is a place for racism, and, and it's in the fucking trash. Um, the... the there is a long and storied history of the correct way to deal with fascism um and, and that is to and, and that is to like be violently uh, opposed to fascism to racism um if you you if you are going to like sit there um and talk as if like racists are welcome in your community. You're you're literally you're welcome. You you, I that that says it all. That just says it all. At the end of the day, you're just welcoming racism. You are okay with racism. Like that that is the most dumbass, baby-brained lib shit I have heard in such a long time. Yeah, well, it's just like, it's just like, oh, you know, we need to be tolerant of everyone. No, no, we don't. We need to, you know, fuck off, Nazi fucks. When you, your teeth need to be stomped out of your face in Minecraft. Um, what if, the, yeah, that, that's it. That's it. You know, it's a marketplace of ideas. It's just opinions. No, it's, it's, it's not an opinion worth listening to. Some opinions are fucking worthless, like this person's opinions right here. If nothing else. And that's why that's why I'm trying to convince myself that it's a bit, because no one can be this fucking lib brain and fucking dumb dumb about this shit. A racist person ship. can provide an example of what you should not be. Right? At the very least, they can provide an example of yeah, do you, do you do you know do you know what I also should not be? Fucking, uh, I I should not be a Spartan. I should not act like the Spartans and um, and try to institute um, uh, pedophilia, you know. I like I, I don't want to be that. But I don't need to I don't need to hang out with a fucking Spartan in order to say yeah you know what I don't think uh, institutionalized pedophilia should be a thing. Um, no, I can read about that. I can learn through like talking about it to other people and studying at experts in their fields who have written copious amounts of studies. Like this is the thing. This is the thing. There is so much there are so there is so much like academic literature into racism. And you are wasting your fucking time on people that think it's based that racism is good. Instead of, you know, doing some actual marketplace of ideas shit and deferring to the experts. Like you yeah, dumbass lip shit. Well, you cannot be. But at the very most, a racist person can provide you with some key perspectives into how certain people think. Like Again, like, there are copious amounts of studies into this stuff, like, why, why listen to someone who's got a skewed perspective? Why not, like, listen to someone who studies it? That you are, you're just a fucking idiot. This is the dumbest shit. Why would a person dislike a person solely because of their color? Also, that's where they're- Read a book! Oh, I see, so that's, you see?
And that can only make you better. It can be painful sometimes to grow. Growth is painful. It hurts. Mm. This is spoken like someone who's never gone into, never left their echo chamber. This is, that's the, that's, that's the ironic thing about this is that, um, I have been to their communities and listened to what they have to say. Um, they will not give you. Oh, are we going through it? My... No, no, this is um, this is uh, something that um, that um, uh, Hoser for Life sent me. Yeah, acting as though talking to racists is somehow going to give you a better insight into racism than like reading academic studies and writings into the work. Honestly, you don't have to allow Nazis into your community to, like, install a fucking Tor browser um, with with a, uh, with a VPN and uh, browse their forums, you know? You don't have to interact with them to get the perspective. You can watch them. And I guarantee you, if you go into their forums and try to have a conversation with them, guess what? You are not going to be given the same amount of respect as you are trying to give them right now. They are not going to allow your ideas to uh, be seen. They are going to uh, call you the worst things. They are going to tell you to die. These people want you to die dude and you want to break bread with them I I'm sorry but like that's just the that's just such dumbass lip shit at the end of the day if we got in your roots eh? <sighs> grow and expand but when you grow you'll be better for it. And once that pain is gone, once you've gone through that pain of growing, you'll never hurt again when it comes to growing in that way. So you should be seeking out a diversity of opinions, not just people who already agree with you. Then seek it out, but like, don't let... Fucking hell. So basically, this guy just wants to create a Nazi community in order to feel better about himself. This is like the worst kind of performative wokeness I've ever heard. Your time will be in Scotland now right quitting my room full of yeah. racists who disagree with you. Not surprised. In a room full of people who agree and feel like Yeah, I mean like punks rise up. All I have to say about that. Exactly the way you do. In one of those situations you learn you stand to learn far more than the other. Okay? So we should seek opportunities to learn. Wagner says, Oh, so it is because they are an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes, um, sometimes the word idiot can be dismissive. To me, that's not enough to just say, oh, this person's <clears> an idiot. <throat> if you can't articulate and put into words why that person is an idiot, then calling them an idiot is insufficient. No, we have to get okay. into You are an idiot because you are wanting to break bread with people who literally want you dead and will not afford you the same amount of respect that you are trying to give to them. They do not have a useful perspective on what racism is. They do not understand what racism is. Read a book. Yeah. Practice. Get in the habit of putting our arguments into words, right? Learning how to... Like, you know, the answer the answer to Vorsch is not Black Vorsch. Express and convey specifically what it is that we don't like. That's a challenge because you have to resist your emotions to do that. Otherwise, you'll just flip over the Monopoly board and just say a bunch of four-letter words or just rage quit out of the room. So I hope to, I hope that you're learning to grow from this. I hope that you are growing from this. Can you interact with other... With other races and be civil? Of course. I do it all the time. Yeah. I used to live in Louisville, Kentucky. And, and they will be civil with you up until the point at which your um, community is overtaken by racists. I've seen this happen. The end, it, in the end, it does not help. Oh, no, not that valve. Okay, that did something. Maybe twice on this one.
Mm. I had to do that all the time. But you want to know something? Um, when I was civil with these individuals, it actually diffused and disarmed their racism. Right? A lot of people have the idea like, I'm going to get that man's face and I'm going to call him all this. And yeah, I'll show you how I'll show you how these black people are. And then when they try to do that to you and you don't react that way. This could be an opportunity for them to grow like, oh, I was wrong. I didn't know. I thought. I, I mean, I, I figured I who cares again, like. This is this is just the result of you not spending any time doing any research into how hate communities spread and how hate works when you give um when you make it uh make it a say when you make your community a safe space for racism you uh just create more spaces for hate to be uh spread you are allowing the spread of hate speech um that's giving grounds to racists only creates more racism honestly um, what he's talking about now is a rhetorical um, device which a lot of debate bros use um, that there is absolutely zero scientific data to back up. This is just you using your uh, big brain logic to try and how try and uh, say that uh, you should you know I can change their minds. I'm like no, you can't. You can't. Uh, they've done studies into this. Um, de-radicalization, uh, th th there is absolutely no evidence that de-radicalization, for one thing, is possible, and for another thing, is, uh, effective in any way. In fact, like, current, current understanding of de-radicalization, de after studies, um, post, uh, 2016, shows that, suggests that uh, people who have been de-radicalized will just step back into their radicalized nature um, if the environments become in the, if the environment becomes less toxic towards um, hateful behavior when you make your community accepting to hateful people then people who are hateful will be hateful you are an idiot, and I have just explained why. I thought, I assumed, I'm sorry. I, people can grow, people can change. You can, so why can't... People, people can grow, yes, but you can't make people change their minds. You can only change the environment so that they are forced to rethink their actions. If you make an environment in which people can spout their hateful bullshit without any pushback, without any consequence, in an attempt to make yourself feel like you're a big brain centrist, like listening to the marketplace of ideas, listening to people's ideas, oh, I'm being compassionate. Oh, you're comp compassionate for Nazis doesn't fucking work. I'm sorry. Stomping, the, stomping their faces into the pavement in Minecraft does. Don't waste your time on trying to change the minds of someone who would put you in a fucking meat grinder if they could. Fucking hell, man who lives with bears. Surprised when bears try to eat them. So dumb. Dumbest shit I've seen, I've heard today. Apart from hearing Vorsh's name. Oh, well. What's next? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so if I were a white person and I said I wanted to... I might not have time for... I might not have time for the tight shit, sorry. Into a black person. So we've got uh, trans versus conservative women. Uh, men are dealing with anglo shit here in uh, Chicago. This market leading this rubbish is the largest mix of racism and labor I've ever seen. You think labor couldn't be that racist? Come on, come to Chicago. Labor? Yeah. I mean, there's a storied history of um, um, racism within labor mu labor movements. Uh, movements. Um, 
because ca capital owners will use minorities in order to strike break and all of that. Um, a lot of the racism against Chinese people in Australia is, was has its roots in using chi the Chinese workforce in order to break uh, to um, you know scab uh, labor movements and strikes. Yeah, Pinkerton ship. Yeah, Pinkerton ship. Interesting little factoid about the Pinkertons. Did you know that um, the uh, Great Mouse Detective, um, when they made that, they uh, uh, the a Disney company um, worked together with the Pinkertons to uh, to that like basically write their story and stuff like that. Sort of the same way that they would, you know. Um, go to Africa to learn how to draw like certain animals, like the detective thing, like they went, they spoke to the Pickertons in order to make that movie. And also there's special features on the DVDs um, that uh, talk about the history of the Pinkertons and like uh, whitewash all of that shit. So uh, yeah, good job, <laughs> Disney. I mean, that's definitely in line with uh, Walt Disney. But anyway, let's move on to... I do actually need to go to uh, the ladders room, so quick break again. So don't go anywhere, or do. Either way, though, I will be right back over after this short break. And we're back. We've got. Trans versus conservative women are periods essential to womanhood. I'm willing to fucking bet that is not going to be just about periods. Okay, so if I were a white person and I said I want to transition into a black person mm -hmm. and I'm redefining what blackness is to fit what yeah. I view it as, right? Yeah. Would you consider that appropriation? I consider that dodging and I consider that comparing apples to oranges because race and gender identity are two separate different things. I said it better than I ever could. Middle ground. And I, like the very fact that it's called middle ground is like the it is just the same lib shit that we just saw. Step forward if you agree. The transgender movement is indoctrinating our youth. We are seeing, especially on social media, on TikTok, you're seeing... Someone sitting down... Is it, wait, someone from the trans side is saying that, uh, yes, they're indoctrinating the youth? Also, uh, one of the women in this, um, in on the conservative side, is um, a PragerU uh, uh, content creator. Seeing a lot of people in this community really just targeting children, and you're seeing um, drag shows, even in conservative states like Texas, and um, you know, even just media, movies, like, it seems like everything seems to be targeted at these kids. You have... Uh, drag story hour for kids and wait what uh, wait wait what Dra drag story hour is uh, drag not transgender what are you talking about that's that's not being transgender what are you talking about those two th that that has nothing to do what how has that got anything to do with this conversation um, it's just really I think predatory in yeah. a way, and I'm not saying every yes versus Ben Shapiro fucking love that they're not going to be able to get anyone to debate uh, Hassan, except for, like, some mid-tier fucking um, nobody um, who's looking for clout. No one, no one, no one is going to go up against fucking Hassan. Trans person is doing this, but as a whole, there does seem to be a route that they're taking I'll do to it. get to Yeah, I want the clout. You hear Blue's Clues playing in the next room, and then you hear the Gay Parade song. It's blues yeah. clues. You're not expecting the the, the What's wrong with that? The children about that. Yeah. It really makes you wonder. What's wrong are, with that? Are they really coming for the children? And I think who's we're they? In, in our population, who's they? You know, the the rate of young children who Wait, is she are trans? identifying as transgender, non-binary is okay. Yeah, she is. This is the this is the Prager you bitch. By the way. Uh, conservative woman. Oh, they've actually put it up there. Host of PragerU's Unapologetic Live. Marketing. And I think there's something to be said for people who are truly experiencing gender dysphoria, which we recognize exists. 
Okay, so gender dysphoria is something that you may have as a result of being transgender, but it is not something that everyone has. Just like if you uh, experience, um, if you are uh, like, if you're autistic or if you have ADHD, um, these things run on a spectrum, and you have different um, different symptoms of those issues. So gender dysphoria is a collection of 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 um, like basically rather than like body dysmorphia like your body not looking how you are uh, expecting it to look um gender dysphoria is your uh gender expression not conforming to uh what you believe your expression gender expression uh should uh, appear as so it's like a more complicating thing than uh, this bitch even understands like she says she recognizes it exists but she has no idea what it actually means and those who are experiencing uh, what is now going to be called or in the future going to be called this social contagion gender dysphoria Social contagion, gender dysphoria has already been debunked. Um, that's that. That's just not. So uh, this social contagion uh, theory can be traced back to a, a uh, 2018 paper published in the journal PLOS One. Yes, the paper, the paper which has been completely uh, debunked. It has uh, absolutely no. Damn it! There's no way to. There's no way to put this, which is in the way, which isn't in the way. Oh well. Why is it? Look, gosh. Oh, well, whatever. Why is it not letting me put it where I want to, it to be put? That's so fucking annoying. Oh, well. No captions. Screw it. GNC came up with Polyfin uh, debate, debating each other. GNC? Finn? Who's Finn? where they're being exposed to it on social media or in school yeah um there there is no there is no scientific um there is no scientific evidence for social contagion theory it's not real it's not real social contagion uh, theory is not real it is uh, debunked science hey amazing wolf skeptic a good day to you indeed or mom and dad are having a conversation about it with children and children are now starting to develop gender confusion or even babies right uh, so so uh gender confusion so you you're talking you're talking about uh uh puberty which everyone fucking goes through fucking hell gender confusion is just puberty they just uh, we just understand gender more now and you're scared because you didn't uh you didn't grow up learning about it and you're scared about new things um yeah again just to set the record straight social contagion theory is uh, pseudoscientific debunked nonsense it's not real. It's about as real as body language experts. People right. who are being born, they don't have to put the gender on the birth certificate and they're saying you can choose whatever you want to be. Yeah. Like that's so dangerous. That's good. And even Why? lying to them saying like, oh, if we put you Why? on hormone blockers at this age, it won't do anything what? to your puberty. It won't affect you long term. And what? it's just a straight up lie. And there's like an entire about? Reddit thread dedicated. Uh, no, 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 nobody's doing that. Like nobody's saying that. Wait, no, nothing, nothing, nothing about that. What are you talking about? Okay. Dedicated to people who transitioned, talking about how much they hate their life now because they transitioned as a child, and now okay. they amputated off healthy body parts and are miserable. Wait, no, what? No, you're talking about adults. Like the majority of uh, the majority of those people who do those detransitioners who have actually had surgery, um, transitioned um, as an adult and uh, got those surgeries as an adult. In very rare cases, you might find um, uh, women who uh, got, uh, oh sorry, girls, 16-year-old uh, girls who uh, had double mastectomies um, because their parents could pay, uh, could throw money at doctors until they got it done. Um, but yeah, that that's just such a tiny minority of people who still need, who still deserve care Absolutely. But uh, how's Albanese doing over there? Oh, I don't know. I haven't actually paid attention to the Australian stuff. But yeah. Uh, just reframing. Like, they're just talking for uh, people who have been through uh, traumatic experiences and using their, um, their stories in order to be um, anti-trans and anti-gay. They've already conflated drag with being transgender, which, like, Two things are 
are completely separate issues. It all falls under the LGBTQIA plus banner, but like the only thing that connects them is that uh, the drag is performed by minority groups and uh, transgender people are also a minority group. That's it. And uh, you, you're you talking... They, they brought up, like, it's really scary that kids can choose their gender now. I'm just like, why? Why? You, I mean... That... Overwhelming evidence. We're probably more paying, paying attention to fallen politics than your average pol political nerd. <laughs> I just wish I had more time um, to, to focus on all of the things I'm interested in and also play games and you know, afford to live. Great. Can the disagree a step forward? Yeah, get the fuck out of there. The fact that the trans movement has got people shook has me so excited. The trans movement is not indoctrinating our youth. Our youth are understanding who they are at a younger age. And from Ooh. what I was hearing over here is a lot of what y'all were saying I wonder would you say it to the parents? Because we need to really look at what the parents of trans youth really go through. Trans youth, instead of them enjoying their life, playing with their friends, they're up in legislation trying to fight for basic rights here. One in five <sighs> transgender youth have tried to commit suicide. Why are we trying to police them? But you're bringing it. The argument against that would be that, um, the, that, uh, that, well, the argument that these, that these, uh, fucking ghouls bring up against that is that, uh, tra being transgender is what causes suicidality, but when it's really the, uh, social stigma and the constant, uh, the constant, um, scrutiny that, um, trans people are under right now is just fucking insane. Only to the parents being the question. John is, Howard Bad, Aussie liberals are conservative, Labour is all well, so uh, liberals are con liberals are conservative, Labour is conservative, uh, but yeah, if it's point five percent better, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. No, there is there there absolutely isn't anything wrong with children exploring and uh, finding out who they are. The thing is if they're worried about detransitioners, uh, then we need to make it more acceptable to uh, have these conversations about gender with children so that they can, like, understand... We can we can learn how to talk to them better and we can help prevent, you know... Um, like, regret. But at the end of the day, if we're going to bring up detransitioners, the percentage of people who have knee reconstructive surgery the regret rate of that is about 20 to 30 percent whereas the regret rate when it comes to any gender reassignment surgery is less than five percent so we are talking about a kind of surgery which has such like a such an incredibly low percentage of regret compared to surgeries that we consider as normal and don't have any don't don't talk about why aren't we talking about knee, like people who are having knee surgery regretting their surgery when it's so high when the regret rate is so high regret rate for surgeries in general is about 10 percent just in general why are we as transgender people being um, being uh, vilified for performing so well when it comes to the general population? I mean, that's obviously as well because we every time we, we, we trans people win at something, it turns out to be a bad thing, according to uh, Cisette Wyatt's. <laughs> but yeah, the percentage of trans people who detransition who de is uh, about... Is it? I think I thought it was a. I thought it was more than that. But the people of uh, people who detransition and continue to detransition, as in they don't retransition later on, is about you know that. There's a reason for regret rate from um, late fucking lazy eye surgery. Yeah, yeah. It's speaking through personal experience. I'll be indirectly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Also, sixteen-year-old girls um, who are c cishet girls um, can get uh, breast surgery. And they have a higher regret rate than trans people do. So, what? Like, 16-year-old girls who get breast surgery, either, like, augmentation or uh, reconstruction, um, have a higher regret rate than transgender people, like trans men. 
yeah, there's a regret rate, but it's much lower than uh, <laughs> other people. Like, why aren't you talking about the girls who are getting breast uh, breast augmentation at 16 who um, regret who regret getting it done? Why aren't you talking about those girls? Why don't you care about those girls? Why is it you're focusing on trans people when it comes to this? Nation in general, am I correct? And then, but they are part of but they are part of that yeah. conversation. Someone said something about drag shows coming to schools or whatnot. The kids enjoyed it. The parents just had a problem with it. But that's their issue. It's only someone dressed in drag reading a story. Is that drag been not anybody. blackface for women? I no. see it as a caricature of womanhood. But inherently. Yeah, so so uh, I like I'm gonna say that I gonna I said this the other day. Um, drag is um, the same thing in it is the same thing in essence as uh, minstrel shows. The difference being is the outcomes are completely different. There is no there is no um, argument to support uh, minstrel shows because we can see we we can see the damage. Uh, we can see the continued damage, and we can see the damage that uh, it would cause if we allowed that shit again. When it comes to drag shows, we are talking about a minority group, group expressing themselves in a caricature of womanhood, in which women are not harmed from that experience. Minstrel shows harm black people, drag shows do not harm women. So you can dick write a dictionary and say that they're the same thing. I mean, in the the act is a very similar act. Again, though, race and gender are not the same things. Model minority myth is the modern manifestation of minstrel. Model minority? What's the model mi minority? Yeah, even modern, modern minstrel shows exist. Yeah, well, I mean, like, we can start talking about Andrew Callahan and cultural appropriation. <laughs> Yay! It's insulting. Oh, yeah. I have to agree with you guys. I do not like the drag queen social hours. Um, I, I personally, as a trans person... Yeah, but you're fucking old. ...didn't ever go to a drag show until I was about 40. I, I'm, I'm again, not... Again, again, why are they talking about drag in a conversation about transgender people? For the sexualization of kids. Why are we teaching... Why are we not letting kids be kids and bringing sex into their lives so early? I think it's predatory what? in general to talk about sex with children. Yeah. In regards to straight sex... No, kind of what? Sex. Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, f wait, you think it's predatory to talk about straight sex? All right, then fucking ban your child from ever watching anything. All right. My nephew's favorite show right now is uh, like a Canadian sitcom kids show called Some Assembly Required. And he was showing me a few of those episodes. In the episode that I just watched, there was basically, um, there were, there were two instances of, uh, men uh, of 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 like the children lusting after each other in the show it's just like oh i want to get i want to get with the cheerleaders it's like oh i want to go out with a date on a date with these people it's just like you don't fucking believe that at all because you are blind to the fact that sex is sold to your children every fucking day also, it's a bit problematic in that they do they do make fun of uh, drag in a problematic way in that show. But, you know, it's a kid's show. It's a kid's show, and, like, if you're a parent, you can, like, fucking, you know, teach them what's right or wrong from, like, watching it. Make lemonade. Don't, don't, don't try and ban shit for other people. Anyway, again... Drag is not inherently sexual. It is a it is a play on gender. Gender is not sex. Sexuality is a different thing from gender. Stop conflating drag, which has nothing to do with transgender people. Stop conflating sex with gender. Start talking about the actual itch issues facing people. Like there's so many things. Like this is the same thing over who's, and over who, again. Who's teaching sex to third grade children? I really uh, want to know. Have you looked there's at the California just... curriculum for sex Genesis, education? Where you need to. I know that. Yeah, yeah, you need to because they're not teaching them comprehensive sexual education properly in schools. Fucking hell. Like, you need to... You need to teach kids, like, how to have safe sex, otherwise they're not going to have safe sex. What? 
You need to teach kids who it, who who is uh, how to identify uh, predators uh, in amongst their family. Otherwise, they will be predated upon by their family. You need to be accepting of LGBTQIA plus people with kids because otherwise, those kids will go on to be pushed into the arms of groomers. And if, if you want to go into, if you want to learn more about this, um, Cat Black has done several videos on the topic about how she was pushed into the arms of groomers because she wasn't in an environment which is which was accepting to her gender identity. Heteronormative will get away with so much more socialization of things. Yeah, like there, there are so many kids' movies and kids' shows where where like straight people are just fucking making out on screen. Right? And that's okay. But a man dressed in clo in women's clothing is do you know what's really interesting as well? In this in this show, right? So there's a scene where one of the kids is wearing a dress like as a che cheerleader and it's treated as a joke. It's only okay for these people when it's making fun of minorities. That's it. That's it. The reason why drag, one of the main, what one of the reasons that drag is different to menstrual shows, is because one of the things that it is lampooning is this expectation of men to conform to masculine roles, to of the way we as a society make fun of men who dress or look effeminate. And it is taking that to the extreme. Yes, it is making a tra it is making a caricature, but it is not making a caricature of womanhood. It's making a caricature of femininity. The idea that men cannot be feminine. It is taking it to the extreme, and it is reclaiming something which has always been imposed upon the homosexual community. And that is the difference between blackface and drag. Blackface would look a whole lot different if it was black people doing the blackface and reclaiming it as a as a caricature of what white people are expecting of them. To throw it back in their faces. To make fun of the expectations of uh, what um, what uh, society expects of black people and turn it around. I'm just trying to think of examples of this, but... <sighs> that work in that. That'd be interesting to fight, to, to look into. There isn't a lot that I can think of. It's really sad because a lot of like a lot of the the toxic um, things that um, that white people place upon black culture tend to tend to be embraced by the culture by people um, in that culture instead of ridiculed in the same way that drag is. Yeah. Food for thought. Anyway, are we going to talk about transgender stuff, when please? When I was in preschool, I got my first crush on a boy. Because um, to me at the time, he was in kindergarten, he looked like um, Prince Eric from... Little Mermaid. Yeah, Little Mermaid. Um, I don't think, like, fucking him ever crossed my mind when I was four, but obviously, like... I it would have been good to know that, like, it's okay, like, if you have these feelings for someone of the same sex. We think of, of youth in general, they're having sex at no. a lot younger age, whether we like it or no, not. They're not. Just no, they're, they're not. They're not. They're not having sex as a, at a, a lot younger age. Like, the statistics don't bear that out. Like, the general, the, the average age is pretty much the same as it's been for the last 20 years, about, f like, 12 to 16, I think. For most children, like the on average, that that that's what we're looking at here, um, and I'm talking about sexual experiences, not like stat statutory rape or like um, you know rape, um, like that sort of stuff. Um, there's so many nail salons in Chicago that employ men of color. Really, I I wasn't aware of that. 
Exotic Solitude Silver Wolf. Go to this. Oh, so I can get an actual wolf. Ooh, Snow Bouncer. Yes. What else have I been got? Have I been given? What is the sigil sealed? Where is it? What? Where is it? Dragonbone. Can't find it. Oh, Carthwatch. Where? Carthwatch sigil shield. Short friend. Ah, yes. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry. You don't think it's real. because of that? I don't. I do not think it's because of that. It starts at home with parents teaching their children. Yeah. Because no, like it, like so, so, so the idea that children are having sex at younger and younger ages is a myth. Uh, things have tend to tend to have tended to remain about the same 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 uh, rate um, for the last you know who knows how long. Um, that that's incorrect, unfortunately. Well, yeah, fortunately. Um, the idea that kids are being exposed to sex at younger younger ages is not the result of them being exposed to actually being exposed to more visions of sex. It is just a realization of what gender is exposing the way that children are uh, basically uh, shaped into deciding what uh, is correct and incorrect by watching their parents. Yeah, like, yeah, I'd rather, I would rather, like, a person who went to university to study how to talk to kids about, like, sexual stuff to make sure that they grow up to be, you know, good adults and um, have that, those teachers be under, you know, enough scrutiny so that, 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 that they're safe around kids. So like, we have a system here in Australia called Working With Children Check, in which they check our backgrounds, and they keep tabs on us. They keep, in Australia, we have people... We, anyone working with children, like, is put, is put on a register, and we they keep tabs on us. Like, I have a Working With Children's Check, because I, because I used to be a support worker working with kids sometimes. Like... There are ways that we can protect kids through uh, through these systems. Um, if you remove education from schools, uh, then you provide absolutely no protection to kids. You're putting them at the hands of their parents, who might not even talk to them about sex. I've like my my I've, I've my ex um, one of my exes um, her her mother. Never, and her sister, her mother and her dad never spoke to her about sex, ever. Never had the conversation about sex. Like, when I was dating her, like she still had never talked about sex to her mum, or her dad, like, at all. Are we supposed to let that happen to more kids? Or should we, like, teach comprehensive sexual education so that we can get everyone on the same fucking page when it comes to sexuality? Teach kids what consent is. Teach kids these things. Like, teaching, to, to, talking to about sex with kids is, is predatory. Fuck off. That's just a fucking self-report. That's just you self-reporting to the fact that you would talk to your kids about, in, about sex in order to fucking predate upon them. Like that's that's on you. If you're if you think that that if talking to kids about sex is somehow grooming them, like that says a lot more about you as a person than it does about like the educational system. It's one of two things is going to happen: either you teach your children, or the world is going to teach your kids. That's the reality of it. They are learning about it at younger ages from some adult, or even their peers who learned about it from adults. Mm -hmm. That is. Like, they, there is nothing wrong with children learning about sex at younger ages. They are... My nephew is seven years old, or eight years old probably by now, I think, um, and he is learning about heteronormative um, attraction from the TV shows that he's watching, which are aimed at children. 
seven years old, and he is being taught about hetero- heteronormative attra- sexual attraction from the TV shows that he has access to. Again, when are we going to start talking about transgender people? Because nothing, none of this has had anything to do with transgender people, in as long as we've been talking. Indoctrination. As a mother and seeing what my children are... How is what you are doing not indoctrination? Well, to have to be introduced to you at such a young age. Like, I didn't even know what a gay person was until I was like 12. And so they're going to be having these really heavy That's not adult good. conversations. That's not good. Because obviously, that's not good, obviously, because that's shaped your perception of what sexuality should be in a very negative way. You're defeating your own fucking point. Like, you you completely debunk your own point just, just from your very existence. Just look at what happens when someone doesn't get comprehensive sexual education. They become this. And really they spread it to their children. Talk about indoctrination. Their exposure and that is honestly just scary because I don't want to have those conversations. That's why I will be homeschooling my kids um, because I do believe. Wait, what? So you want to homeschool your kids so that, but but you don't want to talk to your kids about these things. So you don't want to. So you don't want to talk to your kids about these things, but you don't, and you don't want anyone else to talk about to to your kids about these things. So like, your children are just going to be completely illiterate when it comes to sex, and they're going to be like easier to exploit by predators. They're going to be easier to be. They're going to be in relationships where uh, where they don't understand that they're being sexually abused. They're not going to know who to turn to. They're not going to know like how to uh, clean themselves after sex or during or bo before. They're not going to be able to understand. All of these things, which are important, they're not going to—they're not going to even understand like their period cycle because you don't want to have these conversations with them. And if you think that I'm being hyperbolic, I have so many friends, so many women who didn't know what a period was until the day that they had it. How fucking traumatic! Would that be if you just started bleeding from an orifice in your body and had no idea why it was happening? Imagine if that happened to you at school, right? How traumatic would that be as an experience? No, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. You're setting your you you are sh setting your your kids up for trauma. You are going to traumatize your children. You are a fucking awful parent, and you shouldn't be allowed to have kids. It is my responsibility to protect them and shield them from the outside world, which is targeting children. The Most people don't even know the difference. I don't the know the difference. movement is really shaking the course of what people think gender identity is supposed to be. So in one sentence, you're saying that you guys are not responsible for the indoctrination that's currently happening with Absolutely children. Absolutely not. And in the second sentence, you are saying no. we are... No, like... Wait, what? Like, indoctrinating children? Like, what are you talking about? Indoctrinating? No, actually, no, I'm not even going to fucking look up the dictionary definition of that. You're, you are using the word indoctrination because it is a word that is has negative connotations to it. Like, everyone in this room is trying to indoctrinate children. That, that, that's what living in a society... It's a society! We live in a society! Like, that's what living in a society um, is. Is that we teach children. You're just calling it... You are just... This bitch is just calling it uh, indoctrination um, to make it sound bad. Because it is functionally identical to what you want to do to children. The difference being that what transgender, generally speaking, like progressive people want to see happen is children learning how to have safe sex, learning um, how to identify predators, and learning that it's okay not to conform to the expectations of society. Whereas you are wanting children to not learn about safe sex, to not learn how to protect yourself from predators, and how to be uh, forced into uh, particular roles within the society. Uh, 
I, I, indoctrination is just a word to make something good sound bad in this case. And I don't give a fuck about any dick writing diction any dictionary dick writers who disagree with me. Context and connotation have a purpose within the way that we use words. Words have meaning beyond what's written in the dictionary. Words have cultural meaning. They have social meaning. They have double entendre. The English language is so shit for an entendre and trying to and and making things sound certain ways you are using indoctrination to associate a very good thing with things that we consider negative like our cartoonish idea of cults and bla cults and brainwashing and uh, you know like the shit we watch in movies which doesn't actually exist you are trying to associate an idea which is a good idea like materially like you can't really you have nothing you have nothing to uh prove that anything that this um lovely trans woman uh lovely black trans woman uh is uh saying you have absolutely nothing but um the language that you're using the way that you describe it because if you make it sound dangerous, then people will think it's dangerous without you having to actually do any make any effort into actually proving it. I'm shook by the fact that you are responsible for it. No, you are shook at the fact that the trans movement has become what it is. And a movement that influences uh, um, people powerful. all over the world, and particularly children. And we see it in the yeah. fact that the, the number of and young people... And there is nothing wrong with teaching kids that they don't have to they don't have to conform to the gen the roles expected of them by society because the roles that there's that are expected of you in society are arbitrary and not always a good thing and if you don't like those roles then you should be allowed to not take part in something that you don't enjoy what is fucking what, what like how else can i describe that as transgender non-binary gender fluid yeah. gender queer is skyrocketing which means that children are yeah um just like the numbers of um the numbers of diagnosis in adhd and autism skyrocketed after we understood how to uh diagnose better diagnosis has become better we're we're finding out that people oh shock horror people don't want to be con don't want to conform to society's views on them oh you know ali alienation from their gen from your gender roles is a real thing oh whoa shock horror um even if 50 percent of us decide if, if we found that 50 percent of the population was transgender tomorrow even if it kept on going up even if it kept on going up until it hit 100 percent Who cares? Who cares? There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You're fear mongering about something. Like, wait, wait, wait. So what's wrong? What, what, what's the problem with like everyone being transgender? What's the problem with that? Again, like she's just make she's just making things sound scary. Oh no! Oh my gosh! The amount of people who enjoy chocolate is going up. It's going up considerably. Like, over the last 10 years, more and more people are reporting that they enjoy eating chocolate on Sundays, especially. It's going to increase. And, like, next, next they're going to start, like, most people are going to start uh, wanting to have chocolate on Saturdays as well. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my fucking gosh. What is going to happen if people enjoy eating chocolate on any day of the week? This is going insane. Like... Chocolate in isn't necessarily in and of itself a bad thing. Why why are you scared? Why are you mad? Like there's no problem with that. Again, like social the social contagion uh, theory has been debunked. Like there is no there's no scientific backing for that. So uh, we can put that aside. Um she's just fear mongering at this point. She's just making something sound scary, which isn't scary at all because people just don't understand it. It's like, oh, children are learning about uh, having sexual sexual education at younger ages. Okay, cool. What's wrong with that? Can you tell me? Other than your fears as a woman who was traumatized by uh, their par your parents and wanted to do the same thing to your children. Uh, a testy is essential to manhood. Nah, you know plenty of dudes who got balls, but no man about them. Ayo. But then again, like that's just taking away uh, someone's identity from them. <gasps> 
Dun, dun, dun. Being exposed to these ideas, and it's certainly coming from yeah. These and the, those ideas. Uh, what's wrong with them? Like the media, like Hollywood, like our public institutions and schools. So to say that that is not oh my gosh, you Americans and 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 your um like your fear of conser your conservatives talking about Hollywood all the time, as if like America is the only place that makes movies in the world, as if like Hollywood fucking matters. Like oh oh gosh, these Hollywood people are just like the rest of the world. Are just like why are Americans so fucking like obsessed with sniffing their own shits, you know, like putting their nose deep in their own shits and taking a big old whiff of those shits, like. America, America, y'all are really just, like, so insular with your arguments. ...not happening, or to deny that that is the reality, negates the numbers that we're seeing. What I would say... Uh, it, 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 well, I mean, it has been debunked. You can look this up. The numbers that you're seeing were reported from, um, from, uh, surveys of transphobic communities. It's been debunked, so we can push that to the side. ...is that the idea that there is a single transgender movement and ideology is disingenuous, and that... Even if there was, it wouldn't matter. You need to show how materially being transgender is a bad thing in and of itself. Because you, this is my problem with, with arguing against these people. They, they make things sound bad from all these things, right? And they bring up, like, they bring up studies that they've cherry pick, either cherry-picked data from or that are from think tanks, which are, you know, like, anti-whatever that you're trying to talk about and aren't peer-reviewed. And because none of the studies that she's, she's talking about have been peer-reviewed and haven't been debunked. Like, these studies have been debunked. They are ridiculed within the scientific community. And that's what you should talk about. And you should, all, you should always just fall back on, okay, so, like, wait, wait, what's the, what, so what? If, if everyone becomes transgender, what's the problem with that? Why is that a problem? Show me with data. Uh at its core, being transgender is about separating sex from sex roles and gender roles that are compulsory. Ooh, Do you think that children should be able to transition medically? No. I think... No. no. It just really depends on each individual um, yes. situation. They should... Well, yeah, yes, I think that... Yeah, I think that um, the science... The science has... The science is in. The current... So until until um, there's a consensus against this, but gender affirming care and yes, that includes medical uh, transitioning, um, is uh, net positive for trans kids. So we know that. So we can push that aside. Why does she say no? Because she's an old. She's old. She's fucking old, and she's she's old and irrelevant. <laughs> and she doesn't. She doesn't. All she has in this conversation is her identity of being transgender without any of the knowledge that that comes with it and like that's okay you shouldn't have to have knowledge about every fucking thing transgender people shouldn't have to be able to defend themselves in a debate at any fucking moment she shouldn't have to do that uh bro yeah there's 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 a lot of like that's and that's why they picked her for this for this conversation but yeah, watch them like side sidestep uh, all of these things. We know that the regret rate for um, the 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 kind of medical transition we're talking about um, with children is either reversible or the regret rate is uh, far below uh, similar surgeries of uh, children at the same age. So, yeah be able to make the best medical and we need less sex pests for them i hmm. am comfortable sharing bathrooms with the other side yeah sorry i'm not going down here i'm not sitting there yes i feel comfortable safe that might be a different question but <laughs> comfortable yes i feel comfortable what i think uh the bathroom issue opens up is an issue of predatory men taking advantage of the opening. That now they could walk into a woman's bathroom or a woman's locker room, as we've seen happen. And in
Okay, so um, the rates of... Uh, when it comes to uh, people identifying as trans people, and I'm not talking about transgender people, I'm talking about people who are doing the same thing that she's talking about. When it comes to trans-identifying people abusing uh, women in bathrooms, the rate of that... There are less cases of that happening than there are of cishet white Republican senators walking into bathrooms and uh, abusing women. Instances like here in Los Angeles at We Spa, mm -hmm. and they go into a women's space, they expose themselves to the women, and then they say, well, I'm a trans woman and you've opened up this space for me. But well, we cannot blame trans people for that. Show me one instance of that happening. I'll take the L. Happy to take the L, but like, Source, please. Um, also, why is that my fucking problem? <laughs> what? So, 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 because a man wants to take advantage of uh, my rights as a minority, uh, I don't get to have my rights as a, a minority? I'm sorry, so men can do whatever the fuck they want until it comes to my rights as a woman. Can you not understand how fucked up that, 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 uh, that, that logic is? That, and, Nobody's and that's, blaming and you. That's, that's, the, that's the problem right here. Because again, when you walk into the bathroom, I'm not interested in knowing what you are, what you identify as. I'm trying to use- It's, it's, it's spiders and snakes. Trans people are more afraid of you than you are of them. Guaranteed. Like, with your, she's not talking about trans people even. Like, she didn't even talk about trans people. Like, what? why should I give a fuck about um, whether a straight, a straight cishet guy go, walks into a bathroom and pretends to be transgender? Uh, like, that seems like a problem with them and not me. Right? Uh, where all this work sh where the shit happened, you feel like a fucking idiot. You got asked by what was the most likely trans woman who my mentor, who was your mentor, where is the bathroom? You had no had to answer the question. I told them we're both in the woman who. Um. Hey, a shame. Um, rule of thumb. Just ask. Yeah, you did your best, but like, honestly, like, hey, do you know what the easiest way to uh, work your way through an uncomfortable conversation is? Just say that you're in an uncomfortable situation and you want to learn more and you're really sorry. Um, but can you explain to me what the best way of, of approaching this situation for you is? Yeah, like, so, so ask what you, if you don't know what to say, Say that! Say that! Say, I don't know what to say. Help me. Help me help you. That's the best thing to do in those situations. The bathroom and leave out of there. What You're, and when you ask someone else for help in order to help them, you are giving them the opportunity to help you. It's like a win-win. Everyone feels People great. People have tried to say is that when trans women go in the bathroom, yeah. they're being predatory, and that is not the case. That is something yeah. we do not blame on trans women. You have said that in the past. Fuck off, you lying Although bitch. you were not saying that, when we talk about predatory behavior and when we talk about like the, the predatory cases, none of them have been trans women. So let's just, I just wanna make sure, I know she's not, I'm not, I know she's not strictly doing that, but because she said she's, that- I there is, they, they have, uh, she has associated transgender people with uh, sexual education, uh, she has associated us with uh, drag shows, and she's associated us with men walking into the bathroom and, and uh, sexually assaulting women. Um, yeah, she is, she, she did that. She did say that. She literally said that. Um, and she's lying about saying that now because uh, she's getting called out about it. I think it's very important that I bring that out sure. on the table and but discuss that. We have to have the conversation, and I'll, I'll open up the question. We know that if this legislation happens, if we move forward with this move, there are going to be men who take advantage of it. Now, I, I want to ask you, is your... Uh, how do you know that?
She's going to bring up um, sources. Comfort as far as going to the bathroom more important than the female women that will be victimized by this. Who said female because, women? Uh, because more female, because female women um, are going to be, uh, more female women are getting vi going to be victimized if uh, they're not allowed to use the bathroom. What are you talking about? The men who are going to assault women are going to assault women anyway. It's not, the, the legislation isn't going to cause men to assault w more women, like, because there is absolutely no, like, we, we have countries who are allowed, who, who make, it, uh, make it okay for uh, women to go to the bathroom. No matter what their uh, gen, their, their uh, whether they're trans women, tra whether they're trans female women, or whether they're uh, cis female women, um, that no, what you said was a lie to start with, and it's just a shame that people don't call her out on her lies, um, and say, okay, which studies are you talking about? Exactly, pull them out for me. Um, because there actually is no, there, there is actually no data to suggest that, uh, having, making it, um, le making, having legal protections for trans women, um, hurts women in any way. There actually isn't. She hasn't got anything. Will be victimized by this. They will and they have. No, you're only assuming, but the reality of assuming. it is, again, when people are going into the restroom, when Good. people are only going yes, to, talk over that bitch. to the restroom, I love her. She's amazing. One or two things, and that's using the restroom. Yeah. I, um, let me, but let you me. didn't answer the question. Is your comfort more important than the female people who could be victimized by this? Okay, so let, let me ask, let me help her answer the question. Which one do you think I'm going to get the shit kicked out of me in? Hmm. It wasn't the women's restroom. See, like, she's old, but she has a fucking point. Right? Which one do you think I'm gonna get the shit kicked out of me in? Yeah. The, the safety of female women is definitely going to be... More women, more female women are going to be protected um, if, uh, like, trans female women are... Uh, protected legislatively so it's not about comfort it's about safety and you 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 dumb bitch just fell into a fucking trap the the issue that, that you're bringing up first of all is already violating a whole bunch of laws okay if somebody's exposing themselves in a bathroom that's a whole different environment rather than just letting trans people in. Uh, in, in California, it's right now 100% legal for trans people to go use the bathroom of their choice. So I don't know what law you're talking about. You're asking this question as if I would not stand up for cis women that were in the restroom. And that's not the case. Um, nice dodge there. No but dodging. the reality <laughs> of it is, one thing I, I, I'm noticing is we're reducing a lot of these particular conversations to genitalia. And it's not about genitalia, it's about safety. Yeah, her concern is the possibility of predation. And, or, and that's, that's and, and, the, and, and there is no um, letting trans, female, trans females um, use bathrooms um, isn't going to cause the abuse of cis females. That's that's a lie. That's just a lie. What well, you're just wrong. Just say that you're just wrong. It's just a lie. And what else can you fucking say? It's just a lie. Yeah. Probability. It doesn't matter if if trans people are using the restroom or not. Sure. But what you what you're concerned about is that you're maybe possibly that people feel more emboldened to put on women's clothes and go into the bathroom. But they're still violating the law all over the place if that's the purpose that they're going in for. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, there is already protection for uh, cis female women, um, no matter whether we let uh, trans female women in or not. Now, you might have noticed that I'm using trans female women on purpose. Um, that's to trigger anyone who uh, that, who believes in the whole uh, what is it adult fe or a adult female woman or whatever uh, thing, it like tr trying to use female 
as uh, some sort of like gotcha against trans people. Gina is a hogalina hogalet man. Wait, what? There's no men there. I'm confused. Yeah, so I didn't step forward because, um, and I know in today's... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just too, I'm too deadpan with my uh, sarcastic comments. No, I know what you meant. Sorry. Don't, don't, you don't need to do that. I know, I know you're not. I'm making a joke. I'm, I'm being me. This is going to sound very radical. Uh, and, you know. I need to like, I need to have like a visual slash S or something like just to, just to make my point come across and not make people feel like <laughs> shit. I'm just making fun of you. It's okay. <laughs> Wait. Um, but I just, I don't agree with um, the whole transgender ideology. And so for me, it's encouraging something that is based in what I feel is delusion. And so I don't think that we should be encouraging that by okay. allowing... Well, a perfect answer for this. You're just wrong. Cool. Move on. ...men into women's restrooms. I think that if that's the case, that to some extent, all gender is delusion. If we're looking Ooh. at uh, historically anywhere from, you know, midwives after the enclosure of the commons in the 1400s, um, having their whole trade affected or brewsters having their trade affected. And now we don't think of women as, you know, brewsters or that creating beer is a womanly thing. These all came from social conditions. These all came, a, a lot of gender, regardless of biological sex, it didn't like naturally flow out of our genitals. And like, it was like, you know, we're like, this is how my genitals are. So this is like how my gender is gonna be. This is a really good, uh, th this, 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 this lady's making lemonade in ways I didn't even think about. I'm just like, nah, shut it down. But uh, she's actually making a good, really good point out of someone who's just just been fucking transphobic as fuck. Yeah, listen to that her. That didn't happen. That's that's not life. Like a lot of people who are either transgender or who are um, LGBT in general. All my friends were girls. At first, I, I just remember there were a lot of things where like I would kind of like come up against people telling me that that's wrong. Like that whether it's something I like, something I want to do. It wasn't until kindergarten that like someone told me that I'm a boy and I was like, oh, I don't feel comfortable going to any bathroom in this world, like in, in the current society we live in. And to make trans women the whipping. And that was my answer from this. That would have been my answer from the start. I'm with her. Girls of that. Um, I, I think that's disingenuous, but I do think that we need a systemic change to make ourselves safer. I don't really know anyone who doesn't feel a little bit uncomfortable going to the bathroom. And trans people are not a delusion. Let's make it very clear. We're here. We've been here for ages. We've been here since the beginning of time. We're in your history books. Um, and I don't think, I think it's very disingenuous to say that a whole identity is a delusion. Well, I believe that you feel like women. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there is an objective truth and I don't believe in his truth, her truth, their truth, my truth. Like there is truth and... Who defined that truth? And like... Who? See, this is why you need to like um, when it, when it comes to old people. Sometimes, that's good. Who defines that truth? Yes, let's let's crush atheists. Atheists unite. It's already it's already defined. And I, as a Christian, I believe God. Who defines is that? Is the one who set truth. Oh, God <laughs> does that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, show show me show me that truth then. Show me is that truth. truth. Can you tell me who defined that? God. Living in the Bible. Yeah, but who defines? No, no, no. But the, who defined what? Who defines who God is to you? Like, because God. I mean, let's be honest. Like, God didn't step down from the heavens and tell you that like everything about like what He is. Who defined God for you? So what's really happening is here. You are believing what your pastor says or your priest or whatever. You're not listening to God. You're listening to a book or you're listening to a person. You you are creating your own ideas about these things um some people like feel like men are more violent women are more compassionate and can't blame them you know, i i i mean like i can't blame the people i blame society patriarchy hurts us all brother religion taking center stage 
it's hard for a lot of trans and non-binary folks like myself to really be able to express who they are. I had to really take on my gender dysphoria in private. I couldn't talk to my mom about it. I couldn't talk to my dad, my siblings, because ultimately I felt like it wasn't going to lead to anything because there wasn't a lot I'm so of... Jeal I'm so jealous of women who, who have, like, more feminine voices than I do. <laughs> I'm so fucking jealous. I really, really, really want uh, surgery on that one day. This is one of those things. Like, I don't care about down there. It's just up here. But uh, Education it's fucking my problem. Education in the cis community, like there is in the trans and non-binary community. We're talking about a book that was written by man with his with his own bias. Who created chromosomes? Yeah, I'm personally not religious, and I believe in chromosomes. science. When we talk um, about cro uh, chromosomes, di don't dictate uh social con constructs. Like you're talking again. Like you're conflating sex with gender. Bum, bum. Do I take HRT? I do, but that doesn't change the... That doesn't change puberty. Nah. Nah. It needs to be more. It needs to be more. Chromosomes, it goes back to the conversation we were talking about earlier about being intersex. But we're not talking about intersex. We're talking about people who were born as a male and they try to transition. The whole fact that they're trying yeah, to... Yeah. The, the, this gender is not sex. Again, we're not talking about people... We're not talking about uh, people being transgender. You're trying to pull it back to your uh, dumbass understanding of sex, which is not uh, de denoted by chromosomes. Uh, don't actually um, don't actually dictate what your sex is. What what uh, dictates your sex is uh, how the hormones interact with your body during um, your parents' pregnancy. Like that's what happens. Um, uh, chromosomes. Uh, are a roadmap of how your body should uh, function but like things it, hey murphy's law if it can go wrong it will go wrong um there are people out there who have xy chromosomes and are cis women like that's that's just fact um but yeah yeah, but, uh, but gender, 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 um, expression, femininity versus masculinity is a thing. Like, gender is a whole bunch of things. Transition into a female in the first place shows that they aren't actually that, that, or else there would be no need to transition, right? So you say, okay, I feel like a woman. What is that? What does that feel like? Yeah, how, how does it's, And how do you we're know? We're not saying, I'm not saying I feel like a woman. I am a woman. I don't so then why did you I transition? Not, why I can't you just... Because, like, because she did not her appearance her role in society as dictated by people around her did not match the role that she felt most comfortable in as a woman it, it gender is informed by society our interact our interactions with society like come on dude dude as a man but be a woman i transitioned so i could who's be who i was i did not feel like i was the person that i identified with when i was born so i took the steps to align my outside body with how i feel on the inside what makes you stand up every day and make you identify as a woman let me challenge you on that i am a woman and i don't like being called a cis yep. woman because i'm not a cis woman i'm a woman you are I'm not no a you're you are a cis woman like that is what defines the you person i'm a yeah. mother so get mad at the terminology not at trans it's people. your it's new it's terminology right but this is what it's this not is what our new terminology that's science the terminology has been around for so long cis is a prefix cis means same instead of getting mad at trans and non-binary people for using updated terminology get mad at webster you're not going along with the times and being educated on the different pronouns that and the different identities you have to admit some of the pronouns are are, are kind of ridiculous Can I, I mean the to be with all due respect i mean even you, you i'm sure you you have to agree some of the pronouns i don't think use. they're ridiculous i think they're very expansive trans and non-binary people just want you to respect their chosen pronoun we are not trying to force pronouns on you you. Just understand that the terminology is going to continue to grow. If you're willing to educate yourself, Finster. oh, and that's right, Finster, yeah. Then you've got it. The ability to give birth is <laughs> a woman's greatest strength. The ability to give birth is a woman's okay, greatest if we strength. Step forward. Everyone fucking disagreed with that. Good. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not able to have children. So I'm still strong, I'm, I'm funny, I'm physically strong. 
I'm, I'm smart and I have a lot of strength. I don't believe that having a baby is the greatest strength because not all of us can. I cannot have kids due to medical issues um, from a medical procedure that I had when I was younger. And it's, uh, it's a hard subject to talk about. It yeah. it's, doesn't mean I'm any, I'm any less of a woman, no. but can we get another question? I don't, I, yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's, I'm sorry. One can of the you? things that I regret was the fact that I w would never be able to do that, but I was honored in the ability to participate it from the other side. Women are amazing. <laughs> they don't just deal with that, so. Uh, while giving birth is not a woman's greatest strength, I do think that only biological women are capable of going through that process and, and bringing life into the world. I need to push back. I mean, like, for now, but transplants are a thing and are going to become more of a thing. So it's going to be interesting where you, where you, go, where you uh, talk about that from there when, uh, like, women, cis women, like, you're not talking about biological women, you're talking about cis women or women that, who were assigned female at birth. Women with the ability to... Assign, people who are assigned female at birth who were who have the parts uh, there, but there are trans men who can give birth. So yeah, like, and trans men are not biological women because they're not women. W women isn't like a term that we use in science to denote someone who can give birth. Sorry, not sorry. You just don't know how to... It's not your field, so... Your field is making up terminology to uh, vilify trans people and to be transphobic. Back on that, because we're also forgetting that trans men and trans masculine people can also give birth as well. And I don't think it's fair to just set it on one group that says that just biological women have that power to just give birth. You know what, I'm going to take a break. Like, actually, like, we're going to finish this tomorrow. Because this is going to take so many times. Oh, the women in sports, gender dysphoria is real, sexual harassment. All right, cool. But this will be a good one to continue tomorrow. Um, yeah. But because uh, that's that's all I have time for today. Um, so until next time, um, take care of yourself. Uh, take care of yourself and take care of someone else. And um, yeah, hopefully see you tomorrow. I'm going to be trying to stick to a... Finishing at, uh, uh, what is the, what is it right now? Hold on. Uh, current time. What the fuck? No. I normally use EST, but like EST is so far out right now. Yeah, oh no, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. so it's 9, it's 9 p.m. EST right now, so I'm an hour ahead, so yeah. So 9 p.m. ending time and trying, you know, uh, work my way up to doing, just so starting a bit earlier, 9, 8, 7, 6, yeah, starting at about, um... Yeah, 6, 6 p.m. Uh, EST. <sighs> but yeah. That's it from me. Shall see you tomorrow. And we'll continue that. I'll try and get that out of the way um, as early as possible so we can uh, dump ourselves straight into that Andrew Tate bullshit. All right. Bye. Bye bye.